my life. This is Halloween weekend. Starting off in Aristia, buying something last minute for my costume on Saturday. I'm now with Kelly. Oh boy, the chop shop. <laughs> we're shopping for her Halloween pregame party and we're at Party City and it's I haven't been to a Party City in a minute. There's it's it's scary. I'm in a haunted house. Ah, I'm scared. Okay guys, we're back now. Like I said, welcome back to a hollow weekend in my life in New York City. So like I said, I went to a Ritzy. I'm also still getting used to my new hair. If you guys didn't see my last vlog, I cut my hair did a blunt cut, went blonde, and I'm just so happy. I wish I did this forever ago. I've just been so not loving my vibe lately, and this just elevated it. So we're gonna do a lay of the land for the costumes. Tonight, my friend Meredith Duxbury is having like a haunted mansion Halloween party. Tonight, Ryan and I are being Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. I'm so excited. Um, at first, he wasn't gonna do Peter Pan because it, he didn't really wanna wear tights, which that's okay. But we found this inspiration photo on Pinterest of this guy. He was wearing a really cool, like, green suit. And it was such a vibe. So we could, we went to Goodwill. He couldn't find matching pants, but he found, like, a green suit jacket. So he's going to do that with, like, a white tank. And then he got the Peter Pan hat. And then I'll show you guys my outfit later. And then Thursday, or tomorrow night. So today's Thursday. Tomorrow night. Um, it's, like, all cost couples costumes this year. I, like, it's so cute of us. Tomorrow night. Ryan and I are being Carrie Bradshaw and Mr. Big because everyone always says he like kind of gives Mr. Big energy and I'm here for that. So we're doing that um, and he's like nicer than Mr. Big though, you know. Um, but it's funny because I feel like my la my previous hair color and length and everything was probably better for Carrie Bradshaw but that's okay. So you guys will see that outfit, but I got the opening credits outfit, which is like the pink tank with the white tutu all on Amazon. I'll show you guys throughout the weekend. And he's just going to wear like a suit with like a cigar. And then Saturday night, our friends are having like a pregame, so we were like, okay, we won't go like super crazy, but we thought it'd be fun to be like a golfer and a golfer caddy. So he's actually going to be the caddy, which is funny because I do not golf really. Um, so he got like a white jumpsuit from Amazon, like a caddy jumpsuit, which I think is honestly looks so great. And then I'm going to be the golfer. So I went to Aritzia to kind of figure out my fit. So we're going to see if this even works out. But I just got like this little white tennis golf skirt, which I've been wanting one. So I like how this is a little bit longer too. So I got this, and then I have a collared white crop top, which could work, but if the whites, I hate when whites don't match, and these match perfectly, so I'll return it if it doesn't work out, but I just got this to go with this, because we're going cute golfer, like not realistic golfer, okay? And I bought, I'll show you guys, actually. Come into my office. I got a white visor off of Amazon. It's not for my um, head shape yet, I didn't adjust it, but a white visor and then I think I'll do some sort of sweater or jacket kind of like the country club like tie over in the front with socks like higher socks and sneakers and call it a day Ryan's like okay I'm gonna bring my golf clubs I'm like no 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 <laughs> we cannot be going to bars and you have like a whole golf club situation he's like but I'm the caddy I'm like I know but I, I don't know so he might like take all the clubs out of the bag and like have the bag because I get it he does like need an accessory here's his hat he's Peter Pan hat it's adorable when he puts it on <laughs> I think I have it on backwards I don't really know um and then I also have like my Tinkerbell dress I just got like a light green dress from Princess Polly and I'm gonna wear wings and these fun green heels from Amazon so I'm actually just really dramatic and my hair appointment was like six hours yesterday by the time I got out, it was dark out, and no one knew I was doing this. Like, my friends knew, but I didn't, like, talk about my hair at all on Instagram and stuff, so I just wanted to be dramatic and, like, drop an Instagram and be like, okay, fine, I did it, because people have been DMing me for months. Like, your hair looks so good, because when sometimes my hair is tucked behind a jacket, people are like, oh, my God, I thought you cut your hair for a second. It would look so good. And I just, like, didn't know, but then I was like, wait, if I go bright and short and blunt, I'm here for it, and I'm so happy. Anyways, I wanted to get a good photo and it was dark last night So this morning I literally got dressed and my friend Allie took a photo of me and um, I got to post it and I was really excited about it and I had made some like TikTok transitions so you know just having fun but um, Yeah, Kelly came over she hadn't seen my apartment before and then I went to Party City with her and um, I was like helping her buy something she like last minute decided to have a party 
So tomorrow night's gonna be a whole juggle because Katie's having her Katie Ween birthday party Halloween edition because today's Katie's birthday. But also Brooke's having a pregame and then Kelly just told me that her party's tomorrow. Like I thought it was gonna be on Saturday night. So I'm like, okay, I gotta juggle all that. And I also wanna get to Katie's like around the time of start because she's one of my really good friends. Like I don't wanna get there super late. What I'm trying to say is I'm getting a spray tan actually tonight. At, this is, I like, no, my arms are not the same color as my face. I like wore a leather jacket and just put on like bronzer and stuff because I just wanted to look nice and glowy for the photo. But I am getting a spray tan tonight. So I'm actually about to undress, wash all my makeup off, scrub, you know, well, I don't have any tan on now, but just do the shower prep for my spray tan. I'm actually getting a spray tan from Isles of Paradise. They're doing like spray tans for people this weekend. So I'm really thankful for that. But I just have a lot of work to catch up on. My grandma and her sister are actually coming here in two weekends. So I'm gonna call her and like plan some things with them for the trip. And I need lunch, I'm getting hungry. Anyways, yeah, welcome to my vlog. I'm so excited to have you guys here. I feel like a new human with my new hair. It's crazy what just like a new hair can do for you. This is your sign. <laughs> Okay, so it's many hours later. Um, I have just been on my computer making phone calls, literally like random things like my TSA pre-check has expired and I'm traveling next weekend. I'm like, ooh, like that would be nice. So I was just trying to figure that all out, but I'm about to head out and run some errands. It's only five o'clock and it's starting to get dark out. Not vibing with that, um, but I'm just making a little kind of an early dinner, late lunch. I don't know, because I'm probably going to eat dinner later, too. I'm definitely going to eat dinner later. But making one of my favorite salads. This is so sad. All I had left was, like, a little bit of chicken left that I just heated up. But sometimes I don't even use it with chicken, so it's fine. Arugula. Cherry tomatoes. Italian dressing. And mozzarella cheese. With some chicken, if you have. Breaded chicken is my preferred. It is truly... A delight, it's so delicious. Got my little cutting board here to cut the tomatoes basically in half, and then we're gonna run some errands. to do some returns and I'm shipping out an order someone bought these shoes I was selling. So I'm gonna return some things, also that FedEx moment basically. And then I wanted to get to the gym today but I didn't have time so instead I'm gonna walk to my spray tan appointment because it's in Soho. Um, so it'll be a nice long walk for me. I probably won't walk back because I don't want to sweat. And it's kind of like toasty out, like I might have to take off my jacket, but I'm wearing this Spanx set. It's the most buttery, soft, amazing material ever. I was just like, I want to wear a dark set for my spray tan. And I'm also bringing flip-flops and like a hair tie, or I have my hair tie in right now, um, for after I get my spray tan, I'll like take my tank off and just like uber back probably. I got my Okine New York edition tote, Kenzie's company, Kenzie and Jess. I'm obsessed, but yeah, let's get some steps in. I literally look like my mom right now, like she would wear this and be like, going to get my steps in. All right, tan is got. <laughs> and it was so cool. They like had like one of the suites rented out at 11 Howard, the hotel. It was so beautiful. And Glow to Go, who's like my favorite spray tanner to use in New York City, was like collaborating with Isle of Paradise. So that was really cool. And they sent us home with a little goodie bag, which was nice. And then on my way back, I actually stopped at CVS. I bought a notebook because I have my planner and I write notes all over. But I was just like, I don't have another notebook to just write tons of lists down, whatever. Got a shower cap and it also comes with like a, maybe it's just two shower caps. I got cranberry juice and I just Uber Eats um, vodka and triple sec. It's on the way and I have a lime. And I'm gonna make Cosmos tonight and I think Ryan and I are gonna do takeout, order food here, eat and like pregame a little bit together and then head to Meredith's party. Oh yeah, and then from Isle of Paradise they gave us some fun goodies. So. Really excited about that. I'm excited to make some cocktails. Doing cocktails with Clara really um, motivated me. If you guys don't know who she is, she 
literally is so fun. I talk about her too much in my videos recently, but she inspired me to like make new cocktails. Ooh, hold on. My vodka's here. I gotta show my ID at the door. BRB. Okay, guys, Ryan's here. We're watching the Bucks game, and we just had some pizza. He went and grabbed us pizza. Super easy. I'm gonna make some cocktails. Cocktails with Danny. No, I'm kidding. Um, I have this beautiful cocktail shaker that I don't use a lot, and I have a martini glass. Um, actually, I don't even know how much of each thing I need. I got vodka, triple sec, lime, or lime juice, I have a presser, and then cranberry juice. And then I'll put ice in this. Let's see how it goes. Alright guys, here we go. Oh, got it in my eye. Ah! This is so satisfying, I can do this all night. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Look, Ryan, look what I did. Taste test, ready? It's good. A little tart, it's good. Currently getting ready, we're listening to like Halloween music. Ryan just made me another Cosmo, and it's literally better than the one I made. He also used to be a bartender in college, fun fact, but getting ready. Alrighty, Tinkerbell is ready. Here's the fit. Dress is Princess Polly. Wings are none other than Amazon. <laughs> I put my hair up as best as I could, and she has bangs, so I just brought some pieces down, gold hoops, everyday makeup, like a little extra, and then the shoes I showed you guys earlier from Amazon, and then I think I'm gonna do my green bag. Obviously, where's my Peter Pan? Peter Pan, is that you? Oh, you're too tall. <laughs> Look. I love. Got this at Goodwill. This is a cup. Hat is Amazon. Boyfriend is Ryan. What's mm. up, everybody? I'm so excited. I posted on my story, and people are really liking the costume. You think? Yeah. Good deal. They really like it. We're about to. Oh, 11 minutes away. Uh oh, jumped on us. Yeah, Meredith Duxbury is having this big haunted party. It looks like she has like goodie bags and stuff. I've been watching her stories all day. She's dressed up as like the zombie bride. It looks amazing. Um, and we're gonna have so much fun. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yay. Guys, my dad just sent me a little Halloween. He loves Baked by Melissa. He must be on their email list and he was like, ooh, Danielle would actually like that. That's so sweet. I literally die for these cupcakes. Ryan slept over, he just left. He has work to do. Last night was so much fun. It was like one of those parties where like everyone's actually on the dance floor and dancing, which is my favorite kind of party. Um, I have a pretty chill day today. I have some things I want to get done here and there. My week was way busier in the first half of the week. So I was on Match Made in Manhattan podcast this week and it went up today. So I'm going to promote that. Post the Gals on the Go polls on Instagram. Go follow at Gals on the Go podcast. I'm actually going to fully return that outfit I bought yesterday at Aritzia. I tried it on the skirt. It was like a little too long. It looked weird. And I totally have a tennis skirt and the collared shirt. I like tried it all on together. I should have tried it all on before going to Aritzia, but it's okay. I'm just going to go return it all. And would like to get some movement in today. Go to Equinox. We'll see if that happens. Happy Friday. This is my literal favorite candle from Bath & Body Works called Autumn. Look at this lighter, it's like a torch lighter. It's so funny, I was like needing a new lighter and usually I use the long lighters, like they call them for like barbecue. And I haven't been able to find them in this city. I They sold them at the Dwayne Reed that I used to live nearby, but not the one now. And so I was like, where do I find a lighter? Because I don't like the ones that you just, like I, I'm a baby, I get so scared that it's near my hand. So, <laughs> I was with my aunt, she was like, well, 
why don't you go to the smoke shop? And you guys know I don't smoke weed or anything. And so I went in the smoke shop and I just felt like a fish out of water. I didn't know what to do. But he was telling me about these new torch lighters. And I used to have a, light, a long lighter that was like the torch. So, anyways, that's my story on lighters. And this works. It, I still get a little scared. I'm, liter I'm a literal baby, but I gotta have my candles lit. Okay, I'm watching Kardashians and I'm using my new little notebook to write my order of events. I love my planner. Um, and I have my planner all written out for today already. Did that last night or yesterday. But I just want to like write down like you do this and then that. Cause I don't want to like, I want to, there's, oh, I just thought of something else that I want to get done today. They're all like fun things to get done. I'm not, I'm not complaining. But tonight Kelly is having a Halloween party and Katie's Halloween party is tonight too. But Kelly starts at eight, Katie starts at 10. So I'm going to get to Kelly's like right at eight. Kelly and her boyfriend are being Kim and Pete um, at the Met Gala, and it's literally epic. Like, she got such a similar dress. She's putting her hair in a slick back bun, and she's, like, spraying her hair, like, bleach blonde, like, you know, with, like, fake hair color stuff. It's going to be so sick. And when we were at Party City yesterday, she was so excited. She found a red carpet. She really wanted to get that. She was getting some other decor, and the line was so long, and she had to get back for something. So I think I'm going to surprise her and go to Party City and get the red carpet. Hopefully the line's not long. Um, so I feel like the earlier I go, I'll have a better chance. Um, so that's the first of my priority list because I feel like as the day goes on, Party City's just gonna get more crowded because people are getting off work and they wanna get their Halloween costumes. I also treated myself because I honestly had a lot of drinks last night to a bagel. I should have just like walked to get it, but you know, oh. Uh, this literally looks fire. I'm trying Brooklyn Bagel Co. today. <laughs> Holy shit. That looks amazing. So I'm gonna keep watching Kardashians. I'm gonna eat this. I feel like I need to get a plate. Cause this, I got one with like the egg over easy. Yeah. Brooke and I were literally just on the phone for I think an hour um, talking about a ton of things for work and then just, well she called initially cause she wanted to hear about last night cause she didn't go. Um, and she was just like, tell me all about it. So we were chatting. And I'm taking a ginger shot, and I think I'm finally, oh, I just love the lighting in this apartment. It is fabulous. Um, and I just cleaned my whole apartment while we we're on the phone. It's the best when you just like put in your earbuds and you're on the phone and you start cleaning and you just, then you look and you're like, oh, my apartment's a lot cleaner. So love that. I'm gonna take a ginger shot and then I'm gonna put on some sort of outfit. It's kind of colder today. It's been pretty warm in New York City, but today it's 50, which is pretty chilly for what it has been recently and run some errands, gonna go to Aritzia, hopefully go pick up that red carpet for Kelly, and cheers. Ah! That feels great. Okay, I just ran the dishwasher, cleaned up a little bit more, and my brother called me, so we chatted for a little bit. Gonna go, I'm just loving my hair, I'm sorry. Like, it just makes all my outfits look better, and it doesn't get under my jacket. This is your sign to cut your hair. I'm gonna go run my errands. I wore a workout outfit in hopes that I feel inspired to go to Equinox and do like 12 through 30 or something while I'm there. I've actually been using these Samsung earbuds and I like how they fit in my ear a lot and the case is so lovely. Um, so I'm gonna listen to the podcast that came out today, one of which was the one I was on. And we're gonna head out. I feel like Meredith Blake running errands. <laughs> Let's go girls <laughs> and guys. <laughs> Just got back from my workout. I did 12, 2.5, 30. <laughs> so it's 2.5 speed rather than three typically. And I feel so good. I'm so glad I did that. I went to the post office. I got everything I wanted to get done today, which feels really nice. Stopped at Citarella. It's like a nicer gourmet market. Oh gosh, sounds of the city. And I just got a couple things I wanted to try. This is called the Tex-Mex salad. And the ingredients seem to make me think it might taste a little like cowboy caviar. And I was just like, I want a snack, so I want to try this. I also, they just have like a ton of like pre-made foods and then also groceries as well. The pea soup just sounds delightful since it's colder out. Um, so I'll have to eat that like 
probably tomorrow, so it's probably pretty fresh. Got just more ginger shots to stock up my fridge. And then I got a rotisserie chicken, and tonight for dinner, I'm going to make, or I have the rotisserie chicken, I have couscous I'm going to make, and then I also either have Brussels sprouts or cauliflower, and that's going to be tonight's dinner. I invited Ryan over, and then we'll go to the parties together, so it's perfect. Couscous is being made right now, about to, I forgot I have green beans as well. I'm going to do green beans tonight, and the chicken's done, like I said. Delicious. All right, this is my first time at making couscous, so hopefully it's good. I just, my friend Seb made it for me that one time and it was delicious. I'm trying these from Whole Foods, organic pearled couscous. These are the garlic and olive oil ones. Green beans are done. I just wanted to cook before I started getting ready, but Ryan won't be here for a second. So we're gonna start getting ready now and then we'll eat. Okay, about to start doing my makeup, but I thought I'd do a little custom outline for you. So this is the Carrie Bradshaw opening credits. Um, scene where she literally wears like a white tutu pink tank and she has heels and like a little bag on so all this is from amazon i got this pink tank and uh you know simple baby pink tank and this white tutu i've tried it on already and then i found like a really inexpensive necklace that says carrie which is just vital to the costume because she always wore her carrie necklace as for shoes i know she probably definitely she would not wear these shoes honestly she would not but I'm going to be on my feet literally all night for hours. And these are the only shoes I can imagine wearing for that long. And they're white and I just thought they'd blend in with the skirt. As for bag, I'm trying to figure out what to do. Because I feel like this is something, you know, this is from my Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag. This was like the pouch that came in it. But I was like, this is something I feel like she would just like have dangling back in the day. But then this is more practical. So trying to figure that out. But one of those bags. And then as for my hair... Now that my hair is super short, I just do not want to use that. I had bought a curling wand, if you guys saw in one of my last vlogs, that's like this big. And it made my hair previously look super short, so I can't even imagine what it would look like. So I'm just going to do some like loose waves, because she does those sometimes too. Um, I hope this comes out okay. I just like don't know anymore. It's kind of random. Like it's not like hot Halloween, but... Things that just make sense. Me being Gary Bradshaw for Halloween. You know, gotta do it. Okay, we are all ready. First time curling my hair with the short hair. I think it looks pretty good. Got the fit on. I don't love the shoes with it, but like, they're so comfortable. Put on a ring and I went with the Louis Vuitton clutch. All right guys, if only I could just like bring the Cosmo with me, but yeah, this is the fit, hopefully. People know who I am. I have the carry necklace on. Yay! We're literally about to head out the door, and of course, what do I do? <laughs> Spill Cosmo on my dress immediately. But I was told these Shout Wipe and Goes really work for on the go, like better than Clorox wipes. You should make a gals on the go wipe. A gals on the go, like an on the go. Yeah, yeah. We should. Wow, okay, that was easy. Oh my god. Maybe I didn't spill that much or something, but. Oh my god, amazing. Phew. Shout might have you beat though. I don't know if... Like... I know, I feel like we'll just leave it to Shout. We'll just leave it to Shout and their talents, but... Alright, I feel like I should bring one in case someone else spills something on me. Because I'm wearing white. Might as well, it looks like I'm putting like a condom in my bag. In case I get lucky. Wear whites in your bag. <laughs> Mr. Big, is that you? What's up? Hello! One thing about Ryan, so this is a bag I'm bringing for one of my friends to wear, and I'll ask him to hold some, like a bag, and show them the way you hold it. He'll hold it like that, or like, <laughs> he'll hold it like this so everyone knows it's not his. <laughs> he'll literally like hold, like, oh my gosh, when I, remember, when I gave you this bag, I said, can you hold this? Or you hold it. <laughs> He's just like, okay, like a football. <laughs>
environment. For sure. Nice. Good uh, morning, guys. It's Saturday morning. I had a lovely morning. Ryan and I got bagels and I got a breakfast burrito and we sat in the park and ate it. He just went to go get a haircut. I'm about to go try out the alteration specialist. I'm not one to get things altered. I'm super lazy, but um, I have a really hard time having jeans fit me and I got these pants. They're so sick for my Nashville trip. So I got a size bigger and then I'm having them take in the waist because I like a Goldie jeans, but they never fit my waist right. So, cause I have like bigger legs, but like a smaller waist. So I'm hoping that they can help me with this cause I want to wear, I have two outfits that I want to wear with these jeans. I also have been unpacking this box finally to put stuff in my Alex drawers. I need to organize these, but I basically did like lips brushes, face makeup, which I feel like I'm gonna need to move face makeup to a bigger drawer down there. Eye stuff, skincare, and then another thing of skincare, and like masks, and oh, so satisfying though, we love that. So nice to see all my stuff again. This is gonna be etc. but now I'm like, ooh, this should be my face products, cause it's like deeper, so I can put my foundation standing up. And then in here, I one hair thing. And then down here, I'm going to put like my cosmetic pouches, I think. So that's what's going on in here. But today, the dogs play. Happy Saturday. Happy game day. Georgia's playing Florida. And it's like a big rivalry every year. It's the Georgia-Florida game. The students that are actively at Georgia all go down to Jacksonville, Florida for the game. It's like a whole thing. They call it Frat Beach. Anyways, yeah, so obviously I need to fix my hair, but we are going to go to the Georgia Bar, as one does. I think it's going to be really crowded today and really fun. Not really in the mood to drink tonight, honestly, or like today. We have like our friend's party tonight where we're being the golfer. I don't need to drink to watch football because then when I drink, I'm not paying attention to the game and I actually like to watch the game, so I might just like get a club soda with a lime or something today. Who knows, my mind can completely change, but that's kind of my vibe as of now. Um, but last night was so much fun. It was just such a blast. It's so fun, just like how I got to go from Kelly's to Katie's and just see so many of my favorite people all in one night. That was really lovely. Kelly's party was so fun. I just love an OG, like apartment party. Like, I really enjoy it. It makes me want to host something like that. Like like a pregame, but also just like an event, like a party here, you know, like, and then everyone just stays all night and you actually get to talk and you're not like screaming at each other in a bar. Then we went to Katie's and she literally looked so stunning and so beautiful. I need a lot of cream this morning. Um, and uh, she was just like a glowing goddess. That was her costume. So yeah, I'm going to go run this errand. It's only like 12 now. I have my appointment gonna do that and then we'll come back and I have a little bit of time we're not leaving for American whiskey the Georgia bar until 3 and ideally I'm just gonna come back and chill on my couch but this morning I don't know I had an inkling to just do stuff so I'm trying to think yeah I think I'm still gonna wear my green jacket gotta pack the bag I'm hoping they can alter this quickly my friends said I have like a group chat with a ton of like Influencers and I was like, hey guys What's a fast place that does alterations and everyone said alteration specialist, so hopefully that is truly the case and Yeah, I'm gonna get my coat on and we're gonna head out the door That was literally the easiest thing of my life I was there for like five minutes and they'll be done Wednesday night before I leave on Thursday. I'm gonna go to Lululemon because I want another workout set. I'm obsessed with the set I have. I think I might literally buy it in the same color or maybe I'll switch it up, but I just love black workout sets. Back from errands, I got my alterations. They're gonna be ready by Wednesday, like I said, and then I got just the one set of Lululemon. I have the name for you guys, the Flow Y Bra. This is the black. I'm a size six in both the leggings and the sports bras. And then the leggings that I really like right now are the Lululemon Align High Rise Crop. 
because I'm more petite, so the long ones kind of bunch up at the ankles and I don't really like it. So these are super great. These like seriously, are these what I'm wearing? No, I'm wearing my Splits 59 ones right now, but cause they're like the flare ones. But these, they just go so high-waisted. They don't fall down. I hate when they fall down. I'll link this up below for you guys if you want. Um, they didn't have a lot of color options. Because, like, they're not sold as a set, technically. Like, I just have these blacks match. But maybe if I go online, I can, like... But I like to see them in person and make sure it's the right material because I can, like, feel it. So it's, like, the softer material. Like, I, I don't know if, if I would spin in this because it's not as secure. It's probably more for, like, yoga and Pilates. Oh, dishes are done. Does anyone else's dishwasher, when it goes off, just beep and beep and beep until you finally open it? Because that's what mine does, and it's so annoying. It's like a crying baby. It's like, come get me. I also want to get back into drinking like protein shakes. Well, I actually honestly never really do. I would make smoothies. But like protein shakes are really great for you. And this one my dad started. You guys know my dad has this tip. So I said, I want to start drinking smoothies again. And then he sent me the link to this. And he's like, I've been taking this. It's got... Um, prebiotics in it as well. So 20 grams prebiotic fiber, 0 grams sugar, 15 grams of protein, and um, it helps with all these things. And I got the chocolate flavor one. He said it's really, really tasty. You can just mix it with water, but he mixes it with something called kefir instead. K-E-F-I-R. I could be saying that wrong, but it's kind of like a milky yogurty consistency, but it's... I don't know. He got it at Whole Foods, so I need to go get that. But yeah, I'm gonna try it out, and if I like it, I'll definitely keep drinking them, but this is like the smallest... Maybe this is the second largest, the second smallest size you could buy, but hopefully I like it because I like the idea of it for sure. And then as we know, I just went bright blonde again and my hairstylist said that I need to use these shampoo and conditioners. Not every wash, like every other wash, whatever. These are purple shampoos, um, but she's been loving the red kin. And then she said once a week to do this, spray this on my hair. It's the Blondage High Bright Treatment. So I said, I was like, I don't want my hair to get brassy. Like, that's not the vibe. So I'm gonna give this a go for sure. I'm all here for treatments and it's a spray. So I feel like it'll be really easy for me to put on. Okay, it's time to get ready. I had a little lounge time on the couch. I just made another cup of coffee and I put on these eye patches. I love these. These are the Peace Out Puffy Eyes. They sometimes slip and slide around, which I don't like, but I just love how big they are. Ugh, see, they just, they don't stick super well. I mean, they do, but they eventually start sliding as they dry out, but they feel just so good. For my hair, we're getting ready to go to the Georgia Bar. For my hair, I like, with my short hair, I like how it looks just like straight slash blown out. I haven't washed it myself since I've gotten it done. It still looks good. Like, I know I curled it last night, but honestly, it's just fine. Comment down below your favorite heat protectant. The only heat protectant I have is, like, wet. So, like, when I go to straighten my hair and my hair is wet, that's not good. So, it's more for, like, blow drying. I've had this flat iron, by the way, forever. Like, since high school. It, it's the same one, too. The Nano Titanium by Babyliss. I just love it. I love how big it is. So funny. My hair is so short. Anyways, I'm going to do this. Figured I'd do the eye patches while I do my hair. And then we'll go and do makeup. I have no idea what I'm wearing. The game starts in an hour. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, just got ready. Nothing revolutionary here. Actually, no, I do love this top. I'll link it below. It's like lined or something. It's really soft on the inside. I always like to wear some sort of dog's colors. And I'm just wearing some lioness, oh, <laughs> some lioness jeans and some cowboy, or like some short boots from Free People. Lipstick, I'm trying something new because I always do the same color. This is NARS Freebird. Power Matte Lipstick. I really like this color. I feel like it complements well. And it's super creamy. I'm nervous that this is gonna ruin it, but I wanna try this Dior Lip Maximizer in the color, I literally just bought this. I think it's called Shimmer Nude. Yeah, Shimmer Nude. It looks really good on its own, but I wanna see what it looks like over this. Cause I feel like it'll look good. Okay, yay. It's making it look good. It's plumping, but it doesn't sting your lips. I 
feel like that's like a good little combo with the Summer Fridays lip balm. You're coming to the bar with me. Um, but yeah, headed to American Whiskey and I'm just throwing a leather jacket on, of course, and then I'm gonna do this bag, I think, except there's like, my shoes have silver tips. Don't mind off my lighting here. Looks like this, the boots. The gold is kind of throwing me off, but I just kind of want to be able to have my bag on my shoulder. So I kind of really don't care. It's a sports bar at the end of the day. So let's go. Hopefully watch the dogs win and beat Florida. Sorry if any of you are Florida fans. Oh. Reporting for duty. Hand me my uh, my driver. There we go. Thank you. Oh, I'm a lefty tonight. <laughs> I forgot you're a lefty. Uh, what else would I ask you to hand me? <laughs> Caddy, give me a beat. No. Give me a beat. You say like, where, where's the wind blowing? Where's the wind blowing? We're gonna go. It's gonna be right to left. So should I aim about over there? Okay, Caddy. Thank you. Dogs won, by the way. Let's go dogs! Let's go dogs. Beat Florida. Beat Florida, thankfully. We're gonna head to the last soiree of the season. Mm -hmm. We got this. My social battery is declining. <laughs>